I think that when it comes to a free sewing pattern or any sewing pattern for that matter, you can only give that true vote of confidence with time. You know, when you actually made a garment or two using this free sewing pattern, when you actually been wearing it for a while, and then you can say, yes, a good one, a keeper for sure. So today, this free sewing pattern is a peplum top by Peppermint Sewing Magazine, and it earned that vote of confidence from me. I made both of these last year, they got plenty of wear, and today, on free sewing pattern review, I will tell you everything you need to know about this free sewing pattern so that way you can save a little bit of money and make something beautiful for yourself, hopefully without using a seam ripper. So let's get started. Hello my dear sewing friends, it's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. Welcome to the free sewing pattern review. So happy to see you here today, Peplum Top by Peppermint Sewing Magazine. Super exciting, but before we move forward, these two things that I'm wearing right now are also two free sewing patterns that we've reviewed in the past. This one is actually the cami top that we reviewed last week. Super happy with that make. And then this one is a Think Pink cardigan. Um, I've made quite a few of these and I'm super happy with that as well. Both of the videos discussing everything you need to know about them will be in the info box below. Just wanted to let you know because I know you would ask. So first things first, let's get started with the pattern card. The sizing goes from six to 24. And here's one thing about sizing that I personally find not necessarily confusing, but just a little bit odd. The sizing in the actual pattern package says six to 24, but when you actually go to the size chart, it goes in alphabetical uh, order like A, B, C, D. And um, I don't know, I just find it a little bit odd I would say, but that does not stop us from creating something beautiful. So the front features a round or scoop neck and the back features a v-neck. Now as it goes for the fabric, you would use a woven fabric for this project. I would not use anything that has any sort of knit stretch or anything like that just because you simply don't need that. One thing that I really love about this pattern, it doesn't come with any darts. So you don't have to work with darts in your bust area. It does make for a very tent-like appearance almost um, when it comes to the finished garment. But if you like that style, absolutely go for it. And I would say that that style also can be pretty forgiving and you can always Always think about maybe adding a little belt you know where the peplum area is or maybe you want to add a, a dart you can do that as well it shouldn't be a problem now if you have never used peppermint sewing magazine free sewing patterns guys you're in for a treat the instructions are fantastic not only they come with written instructions but you can also see pictures drawn pictures of how things should come together lay and whatnot they give you all sorts of really useful advice and while you're making this garment you're going to be practicing a whole set of new sewing skills so you will definitely enjoy it a uh, vote of confidence I'm telling you. One thing about this free sewing pattern that you need to watch for is the length of this peplum. Before I started making these last year, I went on Instagram and I checked some other pictures of other amazing sewing uh, people out there and almost everybody said that the peplum is too short. So a majority of the people were extending this part for quite a bit. I think mine is like six inches plus six inches. So if you don't extend it, it actually ends up being like itty bitty one. And then, I don't know, I, I like my top to be a little bit longer and kind of cover all the areas that needs to be covered um, but it totally depends on you so definitely make sure that you check the size and the length of your peplum now I have here two garments that I made with this free sewing pattern. This is more of like a cotton poplin um, that I actually bought at Walmart way back when. And I really love this geometric print. And if you're working with this free sewing pattern, you definitely need to watch of the alignment of uh, the geometric print. But because it doesn't use any darts, it actually makes it pretty easy to make sure that all of the lines align and that everything goes in the direction that you want it to go. Now, this has been made out of a little bit more flow your fabric you can see this is a little bit stiffer this is a little bit flowier so it's really important of what kind of fabric you're going to choose if you choose something a little bit flower you'll get something a little bit more I would say not form um, or shape holding if you choose something a little bit stiffer you see that you know the uh, ruffle over here is a little bit more exaggerated than over here so definitely definitely make sure that you choose the right type of fabric for this project and again you know you just have to think of what this garment you're going to be wearing with you know if it's underneath a jacket you might want to go for something a little bit flowier if you want something a little bit more like a wow piece then you might want to go for something a little bit stiffer that really holds the shape of that ruffle 
Now, this free sewing pattern has something that I actually haven't seen in any of the patterns that I've used. Free sewing patterns, uh, paid sewing patterns, patterns from the books, whatever that is. This part over here, there's like a little shoulder yoke, I guess. It actually has been cut on the bias. So it's a very interesting detail. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, it doesn't add any complications to your pattern, so don't be stressed about that. I'm pretty sure you can cut it straight without any super duper huge consequences of misfitting on your body. Um, but I did cut mine on the bias both times and um, it worked out. It is great, but that's one detail that's been very interesting for me because I've never seen that ever anywhere else. Now here's an interesting thing for you. I haven't tried it myself. I haven't seen them advertise it that way, but if you're feeling curious and enthusiastic and you wanna try something new, go for it. This pattern, because it doesn't have any darts, if you actually make the front pattern piece the same size as the back pattern piece, usually if you don't have any darts on the front, it's a little bit wider than the back usually from what I've seen, but not always. But if you make them the same size, and from two different fabrics like I did over here, but maybe something a little bit less loud than this floral print, maybe two prints, you can probably wear it both sides. It could be reversible because one side will feature um, a round neck, the other side will feature a V-neck. So it's an interesting idea if you really like a minimal closet or if you really like to make the most out of your fabric or the most out of your sewing tag, you can make a really cool reversible top. Two more awesome ideas for you to try Try. If you extend this peplum top, you have yourself a dress. If you remove this peplum top and you extend this part, you have yourself a tank top. And you can always make this yoke in a contrasting fabric. You can use a few remnants for that. Um, you can add a little bit of an interest for that as well. So there's plenty of options and plenty of combinations that you can play around with this free sewing pattern. I did, however, add the seam down a center bag just because I was running out of fabric and I really wanted to make that print match. I gotta tell you this, if you want more free sewing pattern review videos just like this one, you gotta subscribe guys, because then you will be delivered a new free sewing pattern review video every week from my channel to your home and your sewing studio. And I will be super happy to see you here again. So thank you so much for watching, many hugs to you, and until next time, create something wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.